<laughs> there we go. All right. It's your man, DJ Seiko Varner. I'm here doing the Fly Guy thing with D Hunter. What's up, D? Hey, how you doing, Seiko? Thanks for having me today, brother. No problem, man. You're, you're going to inform me and inform everyone else who's paying attention about something that we need to pay attention to. So tell me about cross-check. We're jumping right into it. Tell me about cross-check. Yeah, I really appreciate you doing uh, this show. Uh, cross-check is a GOP devised uh, mass voter purge program uh, that discriminates against uh, people of color and, and people of color's uh, surnames. Um, it's a, it was designed by Chris Kobach of Kansas, the Secretary okay. of State of, of Kansas. If you ever forget his name, just remember KKK, Chris Kobach of Kansas, okay? Uh, <laughs> KKK. Okay, okay. Chris Kobach is a avowed racist. This guy wanted to do a Muslim registry. Um, he has... Um, been a, a vote suppressor extraordinaire, tried to require birth certificates to vote, um, has been sued numerous times, struck down by the courts in Kansas, uh, has been held in contempt of, of court for his continuous uh, vote suppression tactics. And he's been so successful at suppressing the vote that Donald Trump recently made him in charge of this Voter Integrity Commission, which we really call the Voter Suppression Commission. But wow. cross the way it works, uh, these 27 states take their voter rolls and combine them. And let's say they find a D hunter in North Carolina, a D hunter in Virginia, right? Or a, a Seku Varner in uh, North Carolina, a Seku Varner in South Carolina. They, if the names match, they send you a postcard. If you don't send it back, you could be purged from the rolls. Um, the list. Does that mean I won't be able to vote? That's absolutely right. You'll be purged from the voter rolls. Um, you, you could arguably show up at the polls and try to uh, and try to vote. Your name will not be on the list. You show up on a, um, they give you a provisional ballot. The provisional okay. ballots are not counted. Cross-check is so evil that, for example, North Carolina, prior to uh, engaging in cross-check, their regular list maintenance purge, they purged 40,000 voters. After, wow. I'm sorry, 80,000 voters. After cross-check, no, 40,000, and after cross-check, it went to 182,000 voters. Uh, a study in New York State found that for every one person that they correctly identified as even registered twice, because, you know, it's common for you to register. You don't call the Board of Elections when you change your address. You just don't vote in two places. So right. for every one person that they actually find um, who is actually registered in two places, there's 200 that are not. Uh, the, the list is totally er, er, erroneous. It is done and designed to, um, to purge people from the role with surnames like Washington, Brown, Jefferson, Garcia, mm -hmm. Sung. Uh, New York State did a study on cross-check, and uh, the initial list came back with some 300,000 people double registered to vote. 300,000. After they actually whittled down the list, and, and, and corrected the errors, uh, the, the number was really only 40,000. Uh, the problem is that some states just get this list and start cutting people off the roll. That's the case right now in Indiana. Um, there's a, they, they passed a law there that said, hey, if you show up on the cross check list, we're not even gonna mail you a postcard. We're just gonna cut you off the roll. So this, wow. is, a, this is a mass uh, GOP PERS program. Uh, we estimate that there's some 7 million people uh, on this list and arguably some 1.5 million people have been illegally purged. And these are in states uh, like Wisconsin, I'm sorry, Ohio, uh, Michigan, um, you know, battleground states, 27 Republican states. We're coming to Virginia because Virginia is the only state with a Democratic governor that uh, currently enrolls in cross-check. And I know all about this. Uh, what because, are you saying, the, and, you know, I live here in Virginia, two up, two down, VA. Are you saying that in Virginia, cross-check is alive. Yes, it is. Um, it, you know, we're really uh, surprised and disappointed that the uh, Virginia government is involved in cross-check, particularly in light of uh, Governor McCullough's progressive uh, record as it relates to the restoration of voting rights for felons. Um, the guy that runs the uh, Board of Elections there is a former uh, employee of the Advancement Project. But the reality of the matter is that Virginia submits its voter roll to Chris Kobach in Kansas, and then they purge people who might have the same name as you who are in Virginia and other states. 
And it's, we got to get Virginia out of cross check. So let me tell you, I, I learned about this uh, because of the work of uh, investigative journalist Greg Palace. Uh, Greg has been covering voting rights for since for, for 20 years and uh, really broke the story on the discriminatory impact 